44 now, and with that extreme summer heat, it's important to stay hydrated when being active, especially if you're heading outdoors. Carly Lang has details in this week's Workout Wednesday. In Louisiana, we are no stranger to heat and humidity. You actually lose a lot of water when you exercise depending on the intensity. Which is why being hydrated is so important, especially when working out. It feels like 112, 115 degrees, so we're going to sweat even more. We're going to lose more water just by being outside. YMCA personal trainer Jeremy Barba says you need to start hydrating before your workout. Typically about an hour before, you want to have about 16 ounces, which is about one full-size water bottle. Um, so that just kind of helps you get prepared for the workout. And it doesn't stop there. Barbara says you need to continue to drink water during and after. Again, it all goes back to you're constantly losing water. So you're not going to have the same amount of benefits depending on what your goal is if you're dehydrated at the end of your workout. So that number is going to be a little bit more to so about 32-ish ounces, so about two full water bottles after your exercise within about an hour. And don't forget to replenish your electrolytes. So the great thing about sports drinks is that they have sodium potassium, your main electrolytes. So when you actually drink too much water, your sodium levels go down. So there's a direct correlation there. So the sports drinks are important because it brings your sodium levels back to neutral with the water. Barbara says to always pay attention to your body. So the first sign of dehydration is actually you being thirsty. At that point is when you need to start drinking water, or you should have started drinking water prior. Uh, and then, yeah, if you're feeling dizzy, you're feeling exhausted, then, yeah, go, go find a water, go find a sports drink, go find shade. For this week's Workout Wednesday, I'm Carly Lang.